Hello everyone and welcome to Porfex 1.1 Stardew Valley Let's Play walkthrough series, one of those two. Um, so this is the 1.1 update that's just come out today and I'll be playing on the Wilderness Farm. So I've decided to play the Wilderness Farm because um, I, I, I think there's too much water on the Riverland and I think making a series of fishing would be slightly unexciting. The Forest Farm I think would be actually quite good, but I don't want to do the Forest Farm because it sort of takes up too much space. Um, and ultimately I want the, the Wilderness Farm also because I want to see what the challenge could like and see if I can challenge myself in that space. Um, and finally the Hilltop Farm which also could be quite good. I'm deciding on the Wilderness Farm because I want to have a bit of a challenge and, and just see what the challenge will be like. Um, so that's the main reason why I want to go on the Wilderness Farm. So let's just get stuck into it. So it's perfect. Um, we'll call it 1.1 and only because I've made a series um, just previously on the normal, on, on, on version 1.0. And just to distinguish um, we'll call our farm. I think today we will be calling it... What was the last farm? I'm not sure. Let's call it Poor Ranch Farm. That'll do. And our favourite thing can be... We had donuts in our last series. So let's go with... Maybe we'll go with a drink. So let's go Black Currant. It's kind of what I like um, as far as the cordial goes. So we'll go with that. Um, we'll see if we can have the same person as what we had in our previous series. I wonder if I can get get that. And I think we had a brown shirt. Yep, that one there. I like that one there. And we'll just make our pants just a little bit darker. So I think that's that'll be our person for today. And we're going to go with the dog in this series instead of the cat. Um, in my last series, I skipped all all um all of the cutscenes I will play them through in this series mostly because I know there's a lot of new ones um, and we'll see what they are so we'll make sure we'll make we'll check all the all the cutscenes this time so let's get stuck right into it and for my very special grandson I want you to have this sealed envelope. Which we will be taking a look at now. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. There you go. So we can't open it just yet. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Sounds very depressing. <laughs> I haven't watched this cutscene in a while. Then that happens, my boy. Sorry, when that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. So I'm going to say that's 20 years. 20 years later. And here we are, working at... Jojo Corporation, a bank of computers, terminated. Smile, you're with Jojo. Life's better with Jojo. This definitely doesn't look the most inspiring workplace. <laughs> There's a skeleton there as well. So yeah, I probably wouldn't be that excited. The desks look all dirty and yep, just doesn't look very exciting. Very old style mouse and old style computers. I think we need to click on this, so let's click on this. Dear Perfect 1.1, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've included this deed to, the pl to that place, my pride and joy. Poor Ranch Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is the most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. 
P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? We will. So let's get out of that. And let's take up Grandpa's option and let, let's get out of Jojo Mart. On a bus. I, it's been quite a while since I've watched this cutscene. I've skipped it quite a few times. Stardew Valley, 0 0.5 miles. Which is about 800 metres for those of you on the metric system. Maybe a bit more. It's Robin. Hello, you must be Perfect 1.1. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right. He's there right now, tidying things for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Look at that beautiful farm. This, this area up here looks new. This is Poor Ranch Farm. <laughs> Which um, we're a bit surprised to see is a bit run down by it seems. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer, says Lewis. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her perfect. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey, so you should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself to the townspeople. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> Progress has been saved. Alright, day one, guys. So the house is obviously a bit different to uh, the normal previous, previous farm. So we're going to get stuck right into it, guys. So I do have a plan for day one, and I think I'm going to try to do something very similar to my previous um, Let's Play series. And what I'm going to do is get as much wood to make a chest, then from there I'm going to um, go collect as many forageable items as I can, sell them to be shop by 4 o'clock, buy as many seeds as I can and then continue on and water our garden. Hopefully we don't get too distracted by all the all our potential monsters that will be attacking us uh, because we don't want to be too distracted by those and hopefully they don't attack us or kill us. I'm really not sure. This is the first time I've played 1.1 1 .1, um, but I'm hoping that, that they don't really cause too much of a drama. So we need 40 wood for our chest and let's get stuck into it. Um, so if, I just might just take a second to have a bit of a chat and introduce to you what I'm planning to do this series. So for this series I want to show my style of play which is to try to get as much gold as quickly as possible, un un unlock the um, community center bundles as quickly as possible and ideally I'd like to get as much done in year one as possible. So I think for the start of spring our main goals will be to get 
Um, the mine cart's done by the end of spring. We want to get to about level 100 in the mine. We want to get maybe about 20,000 gold ready for summer. We want to get about 20 and that sort of range um, quality sprinklers and just really gear up as quickly as we can whilst also moving towards things like kegs and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be trying to run through day to day as, as efficiently as I can and try to get as many items um, and things going as really quickly as I can. So I will be skipping through quite a bit and I'm ho hopefully you can keep up with me. Um, so I've built this chest just because I want to get rid of a few of these items. I will keep the pickaxe, I will keep the scythe. I think everything else I'll put down and allow me to have enough space to collect forage items if we do collect them. Um, I will also be collecting fiber and mixed seeds along the way because we'll be planting the mixed seeds tonight and trying to get as many crops going on our first day as we can. So that's the purpose for, for keeping the the um, the scythe on us, um, because we're going to be doing that. Um, we will be coming back to our farm a bit later and probably getting some more mixed seeds. Uh, but for the moment, we're just going to quickly get as many forage items as we can, run around and hopefully we get a few of them. Um, also, I collect this pickaxe. I kept this pickaxe on me because there's a couple of locations where you might have to break a stone or two to be able to get to quite a few of these weeds, and I'll show you where they are. Sometimes they don't. The, the location I'm talking about spawns without a stone in front of it, but just in case there's a stone in front of it, we'll keep the pickaxe on, pickaxe on us just so we're ready for that. So we've already got two horseradish already. If we do get one of each of these items. Sorry, one of each of the four forage items that enables you to make wild seeds. We will be collecting those and keeping those and not selling them to Pierre. Um, because I think tomorrow we'll use those to make um, wild seeds and, and plant those wild seeds and get our crops going. Um, this area is always really good to check. You can get really lucky and get lots of spring onions. We got very unlucky on our, on our day one and only got one. Um, I don't sell spring onions, I use them for energy, and I think they're a fantastic source of energy, so hopefully in the first few days we will be getting a few of these spring onions. Um, I've got up to about 20, maybe about 25 on a day before, which um, is quite a lot of energy, and I'm hoping we can get a day where we do, do get about that many. Um, what we'll be doing next, so we'll hook by the, down by the, um, the beach, and collect some of those items. We won't be able to sell them today because Willie's not around on day one. We'll be collecting, checking in some of these bins. Keep checking these for mixed seeds. We've already got two mixed seeds. We'll be saying hello to people as we go, but we're not going to go out of our way to meet everyone. You don't really get a whole lot of gold by achieving this, um, sorry, this introduction one of meeting 28. Um, so we're not really going to be going out of our way. Um, we're going to be very much running around trying to collect as many forage items as we can, getting our gold situation uh, up as quickly as we can. Um, so if we run out of inventory space, I'll just be throwing this, this trash out. I do like to keep um, the CDs and also the broken glasses because they turn into refined quartz. And as you'll see later in the series, refined quartz is used for, for many good items. It's used for uh, quality sprinklers and it's also used for lightning rods and we will need to keep quite a lot of that quartz to make sure that we can make those. So we've got two horseradish, two daffodils and a, cup, a, a cockle and a mussel. So we'll be selling these um, in our shipping box because we won't be able to sell them today at Pierre's because he doesn't buy these. These are classified as fish as you can see even though they don't give you energy back. So they, those are two items there you can sell to Willy and this is the location where I just wanted to grab my pick just in case. So that stone doesn't always spawn there but um, it does quite regularly and I like collecting these because it gives you mixed seeds although in that instance I didn't manage to get any. So in that location, I've got up to four mixed seeds, which is what I got on my previous Let's Play series. Um, but yeah, didn't didn't get any more than just, well, I got none this time, but that's okay. Um, we'll have a quick look around now. It's 12.30, and like I said, we ne do need to go back to Pierre by four o'clock. Let's meet Linus. Hello, Linus. Um, and we may not get any more forage items, but that's okay. We've got, we've got a good start. 
So once once we've sold our items to Pierre, we will be buying more um, seeds, and with those seeds, we'll be um, just planting them all today and getting getting ready to start. So I'm probably going to focus on purchasing potatoes. I think in the first round, potatoes give you really good gold um, and help you really build your crops. And go from there. We've got quite a lot of mixed seeds in this little bunch, so that's quite good. Um, there's another one. So we've got up to six, seven mixed seeds already. So we didn't get many while we'll walk around and forage items, but we did get quite a lot on our farm. So to clear up some inventory space, let's just drop these two, and I think I'll just put this stone away for the moment. And let's go see Pierre. So we need to be at Pierre's by four, and we've got plenty of time to do that. I will have a quick look up here for forage items. And nope, there's none there. So we didn't we didn't get too many, but that's okay. So we've got two daffodil and two horseradish. I'm not going to save one of each of these. I'm just going to sell them. I put, could have put that muscle in the shipping container, but that's okay. Um, I'll have a quick look at the board. So it's Lewis's birthday on on Sunday, and that's about it. There's no quests there. So let's hi say hi to Leah. And we'll meet Pierre. You don't actually meet people if you talk to them over the counter, so we're going to do that this way. So let's sell those two and sell those two. So that should give us an extra about maybe four or so potatoes. It might have been three, but that's okay. We've got 13 potatoes now. We could sell the spring onion, but they only sell for eight, and it gives you 13 energy back. So I'm very much in preference of the energy. Um, I think tomorrow we'll buy a few beans. I like to get beans early in the season, but I think to start with I'll get some potatoes. Just to get some potatoes going. Let's check in a few of these bins, which we didn't see anything. Let's meet Evelyn. And let's let's meet these two people here as we're going past. Hello, you must be perfect, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Um, I know I've skipped through a few of the, the discussions earlier. I might start chatting to people. Um, so I'll, I'll read out what they say. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Well, nice to meet you too, Harvey. So let's keep going. Um, so let's put that in the container and let's start setting up our farm. So we've got 13 mixed seeds, sorry, seven mixed seeds, 13 potato seeds, and the 15 parsnip seeds we already had. So let's put the muscle away. We sold the trash, but that's okay. We don't really use trash for many things. So we're going to be setting up our first farm just, just in this area. Maybe a little bit closer to to this lake because the the other little water area over here is now gone, um, being the wilderness farm. So let's just do that. Let's collect some of these. Another mixed seed. We'll be needing these two. Let's put that away. Yep, and that's good to go. So let's set up our farm. So we need 15 for parsnip. Three, four. four. So what's that? That's four by two. That's eight. Let's just make a bit of a patch and then we'll put the parsnip seeds down and the potato seeds and then the mixed seeds. And I think for the rest of the night we'll be aiming to get more mixed seeds and just planting more as many mixed seeds as we can. So that's that. Actually we will need quite a bit more. Let's let's go down a little a couple. And this can be our main little patch to start with. Um, I don't want to waste too much time, you know, making a fancy um, little patch just yet, because I, I want to just really use as much time as we can collecting um, items and improving our gold situation. So rather than setting this farm out really, really clean and nicely, I'll be using the time to go back and collect more mixed seeds. Um, and also, it's going to be night soon, so we'll need to be careful of um, the monsters that will start to attack us. Um, I haven't, like I said, this is the first time me playing 1.1, so I'm not really sure what monsters will be coming out at us, and we don't even have a sword yet. Um, so we'll just have to see and see how we go on our first night. I'm hoping that we won't die. I'm assuming um, early in the days that the yeah, monsters aren't too um, aggressive or too evil for us. So we're up to just 10 energy but left. So let's make sure we've got our scythe out. So let's see if we can collect some more mixed seeds. There's another one. And if we have to eat this, um, this spring onion to keep watering our plants, we will be doing that. 
It's another mixed seed. So we're getting quite a lot of mixed seeds, which is very, very good, because we will be planting these, and it's effectively free seeds to buy from Pierre. Um, and they can be any seeds for spring, except the, the seeds that you, um, you have to wait till year two to be able to get. So they can be parsnips, they can be cauliflower, it can be potato. Um, actually, it can't be beans. It can't be the things that grow on the trellises. But I think just about everything else it can be. So we don't have much energy left, so we won't be using our, our axe or our, our pick on any of these. But if we can get some, some more seeds, that would make for a really, really good day one. Um, so, there we go. We're up to another three, so this is, this is really good. I think we had seven before, so we're up to ten mixed seeds, which I think is fantastic for a day one. I've also got quite a lot of time to keep keep mining this, so we'll be getting as many of these items as we can. Um, there's not a lot more we can do today except collect mixed seeds because um, there's, we've collected all the forage items, we're out of energy, so there's, there's not really anything more we can spend our time on. Now we're getting heaps of mixed seeds. I'm thinking that some of these mixed seeds we probably won't be able to plant today because we just simply won't have the energy to plant them. So we'll probably hang on to them and we'll plant them tomorrow and we'll get our energy back. Um, so it's becoming night time, so we'll be able to see what monsters come out to, to attack us relatively soon. I'm hoping that we don't find too many on our first day. It would be good for us to get our sword first to make sure we can actually um, attack the monsters you know, and, and defend ourselves, but I think I think we'll be using the scythe to defend ourselves on, our, on this day without having the sword. The reason why I want to use the scythe rather than the pickaxe or anything is one, these use up energy every time you use it, even if you don't hit a stump or you don't hit um, a stone, it still uses energy, so that's probably the main thing. But also, this the scythe has a swing arc, so it makes it easy to actually hit them and also knock them back. Um, I'm hoping that will be a bit easier to just, just defend ourselves. Um, we've actually got most of our weeds sort of chopped down on our farm already, so there's not a lot left, but we do have quite a lot of mixed seeds. We've got an extra five, and being only having ten, en 10 energy left, we probably won't be able to plant them. Um, we'll probably be able to plant two, because we've already hoed the soil, or tilled the soil in a couple of locations, and we should have enough energy to water those locations. Um, but I think all the others... Oh no, he's a bat! So we've got our very first monster, it being a bat. So we've got the bat, we're just going to sort of move away from the bat and we'll slash at him as he comes near. Have to keep be mindful of time. This scythe is actually working reasonably well, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's, it's certainly keeping the bat at bay. Let's quickly water this before the bat comes back. And let's see if we can get our first kill tonight. So what have we got? 10, 10 30 and 6 energy. So we won't be able to plant any more mixed seeds, because I don't think we'll have enough energy, but let's, let's at least kill one bat. In fact, we might be able to kill two bats, because if these drop items, we'll be able to sell those items and, and get the gold. So, oh, there's a, and our first golem as well. So let's see if we can just kill a bat. You know, let's, let's see if we can get a kill here, because that would be amazing to get a kill on our first day. We did, we got a bat wing. Um, so it's 11 o'clock, so maybe we'll go to bed if we start to run out of health. We also got our first golem, which only gave us two fiber. Now let's kill this bat as well. So we've had three enemies already, and these do a reasonable amount of damage. But we've also got two bat wings. So that's two bat wings we wouldn't have got if it wasn't on wilderness. So that's a little bit extra gold. So let's let's sell those. I will be keeping bat wings in the future for um, for um, lightning rods, but for the moment I'd prefer the gold. We're going to get plenty as we go down the mines. All right, let's set ourselves up for day two. It is the end of the day now. You can colour your chests. So this being just sort of you know, we'll make this mostly for fibre and wood and, and just general sort of resources. We might make this a grey colour. And let's put the mixed seeds away. And let's um, let's get ready for day two. So let's check the weather report. Uh, weather report for tomorrow. Clear and sunny all day. Okay, so let's go to bed. And I think that'll be the end of this first episode. So hope you've um, enjoyed this first episode. Hope you come along and, and join me for the next one as well. It's an extra 50 gold, sorry, 80 gold, 50 from the cockle, 30 from the muscle, and an extra 30 gold from the batwing. So definitely a little bit of extra gold. It might be 
one parsnip seed and a half or it might be a bean seed so just an extra thing that we wouldn't have got if we didn't kill those bats okay well thank you all for watching this episode i hope you do stick around for the next one and you did enjoy this one um, and i'll see you all in the next episode thanks everyone see you later bye